Welcome to Faxton St. Luke's Healthcare. For more than 40 years, our regional cancer center has been the premier cancer center in the Mohawk Valley. Thank you for entrusting your care to us. You can be confident that we have the people, the knowledge, and the technology to give you the best radiation care available. This video is designed to help you understand the process involved in preparing for your radiation treatments. This may be a difficult time for you. Please know that our team of professionals is here for you every step of the way. Upon arrival, you are greeted by a volunteer. Your next stop is with a member of our office staff who gathers contact information from you and explains several forms that require your signature. By signing these forms, you are granting permission for you to be seen by our physician, permission for us to bill your health insurance, and permission for us to release information to or obtain it from your physicians. Don't hesitate to ask questions. Our staff's priority is to make sure you understand everything. We also have a billing specialist who can help you with any financial questions you may have. After your forms are complete and your questions answered, you return briefly to the waiting area. Your radiation oncology nurse comes to the waiting room to greet you and introduces you to the rest of the nursing staff. All Faxton St. Luke's Healthcare Radiation Nurses are certified in oncology and their primary goal is to educate you about your treatment and manage any symptoms you may have. Be sure to let them know if you have issues of any type so they can resolve them. First, you are weighed and then you go to the consultation room. Keep in mind that your first day here is only a consultation. You will have two more appointments before your treatments begin. Using a computer, your nurse reviews your medical history, including medications you are taking, surgeries you've had, your family history, and if you have any chronic conditions such as diabetes. This thorough nursing assessment assures that information from your referring physician is accurate. Next, your nurse lets you know all about the treatment process and explains radiation specific to the area where you need treatment. Possible side effects and skin care are also discussed. You'll also receive a binder containing everything your nurse discusses with you. Your binder includes information about the different treatment planning appointments you will have and explains the technology used in radiation. Rest assured that your nurse is always available to answer questions. Your binder has the phone numbers of your primary nurse and your doctor. They encourage you to call with questions. There is also a list of reputable websites that can provide even more information about radiation oncology. We give radiation treatments Monday through Friday. We give treatments only on an emergency basis on weekends or holidays. Finally, your nurse tells you about the support services offered through the Regional Cancer Center. We have an on-site licensed dietitian, spiritual and psychological counselors, clinical trials, a comprehensive breast care center, smoking cessation classes, and a consumer library. We also provide transportation to patients who have no other means of transportation and meet certain criteria. Next, your doctor meets you in the consultation room and discusses your treatment options surgery, radiation, chemotherapy, specialized for your type of cancer. This is the time for open and honest discussion between you, your family members, and your doctor. Feel free to ask all the questions you want. Then your doctor takes you to an exam room for a brief examination, after which you're asked to sign an informed consent form. Throughout your treatment, you meet with your doctor on a weekly basis for a checkup. At the end of your first visit, you return to the front office to schedule your treatment planning appointments. We encourage you to consider all you've learned at your first visit and don't make any snap decisions regarding your treatment. Sleep on it, call us if you have any questions, and be calm when making your decision. Should you decide to have radiation, your second appointment is the start of your treatment planning, which usually occurs in three phases, simulation, CAT scan, and dress rehearsal. At your second appointment, you are fitted for an immobilization device on the simulator or the CAT scan machine. The simulator is so named because it simulates the linear accelerator, the machine that delivers radiation. Your immobilization device is custom made for you 
so that you are positioned exactly the same way each time you have radiation. This step takes about 30 to 40 minutes. Next, you have a CAT scan. Images from both the simulator and the CAT scan are transferred to a computer in dosimetry, where a dosimetrist and your doctor design a specialized treatment plan for you. Their goal is to preserve as much surrounding tissue as possible. In addition, you have weekly films taken to be sure everything is on target. We have many advanced technologies such as IMRT, IGRT, and 3D conformal imaging. The technology at Faxon St. Luke's Healthcare's Regional Cancer Center many times surpasses that available at major cancer centers and university hospitals in cities across the nation. Based on your treatment plan, your primary radiation therapist, who is New York State certified, outlines your treatment field with a permanent marker. These marks are the guides used to pinpoint your radiation. Since bathing and perspiration can alter the marks, your therapist darkens them each time you come in. In some cases, you may have a tiny tattoo that marks the center of your treatment area. Your weight is monitored throughout the course of your treatments, and if necessary, you may need new marks to assure maximum accuracy. Your third appointment is your dress rehearsal. You are on the actual linear accelerator this time, although you won't receive a treatment yet. Lasers in the walls of the accelerator room are used to line up your treatment area with the accelerator. After your dress rehearsal, you have routine visits. Depending on the location of your cancer, you may be using the dressing room to put on a hospital gown before your treatment. The number of days you are treated each week and the number of weeks your treatment will last are determined by your doctor. During your treatments, you are on the accelerator for about 15 minutes. The majority of time is devoted to your therapists lining you up properly. The actual treatment is only one to two minutes, during which the therapists are right outside the room and in constant visual and audio contact with you. In addition to the Regional Cancer Center in Utica, we also have radiation oncology sites in Herkimer and Rome. The location you go to is determined after your treatment plan is complete and approved by your physician. Again, we are always here to help you. Let us know what we can do to make your time with us more comfortable. Our care centers around you. Faxton St. Luke's Healthcare. It's the people. It's the care.